and the rates of this farm are quite good. They're something like 100 gold blocks per hour. It definitely varies, but it's quite a good farm overall. Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In today's amazing episode, we're going to be building a gold farm. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Today's banner starts with a red banner and black dye in the black field mason shape, which is right here. Next, we're going on to a red poly, which is this shape here. And we're actually going to go on with two more red polys, and this is basically just to get the purest red we can between these dots. Then we're going to go on and finish off with a lime border, which is this pattern right here. And you can see what it is. It's a watermelon banner. Oh, this is a really cool banner. I love food banners, and I just think it's really cool to see a delicious fruit banner in Minecraft. This would look really good at near like a tropical place or maybe a beach. And so I think it really fits well. And yeah, there it is. There is our uh, watermelon banner. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys everything you need for this uh, this gold farm, and then I will do the tutorial of it. Now, I highly suggest anyone watching this video to watch the previous episode. I will link that, um, basically because that shows you how to get above the nether, so you can basically get to the area where you build this gold farm. So this entire tutorial is pretty useless without that, unless, of course, you've already gone above the nether in your world. So uh, I'll link that in the description, and uh, yeah, you might want to watch that first. But uh, anyway... Here we have all the supplies we're going to need, so um, I, won't, I won't go over what everything is, I'll just leave this open for a bit, but I will show you guys briefly right now how to get yourself turtle eggs uh, really easily. All you have to do to get turtle eggs is just use some shears on seagrass, pick that up, then right click on two turtles that are nearby each other, then those two turtles will breed, you might want to push them towards each other because they're quite slow. So yeah, the two turtles are going to breed, and you can see one of the two turtles that has a bump, uh, I think it's this one, yeah. And that turtle will go over and lay its egg at its home beach. Now I think this turtle is a bit confused. Let's see if we can get it up where it needs to go. But uh, anyway, the turtle is going to go lay the egg. And now the turtle is laying its egg. And you can even push it onto the block where it makes the most sand. Like that. And then the egg's going to come up once we've got this flurry of sand out of the way. Alright. And again, you can always push it onto the right block because they're pretty stupid. Just push it back down where it needs to go. And then this should be an egg, and there we go. And you can see there's some eggs there. And all you have to do is just break these with a silk touch tool like that. And we need six of these for the farm. Yeah, so this is everything else you'll need. And I'll just leave this open. You guys can uh, maybe pause the video and get all those supplies together. Uh, these are the supplies for the sorting system. And these are the supplies for parts of the farm. Uh, this is what you're going to need too. You're going to need 10 stacks of glass. Uh, this is really important. And now there's a whole bunch of magma blocks as well. Actually, this has 9 plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, or I think 17 stacks here of magma blocks, as well as two more shulker boxes full. Uh, these are all needed. Now, you may think, oh no, I'm not going to build this farm now because magma blocks are hard to get. Well, I'm actually going to quickly show you guys right now how to quickly and easily get yourself magma blocks. Now, this farm does include a lot of magma, but that's really easy to get. All you have to do is drink up a fire resistance potion and come to the shore of the lava oceans in the nether, and you'll see these little sections of uh, magma blocks. Now, these may not seem like... These may look like little sections, but they're actually huge sections of magma, and usually these sections go on for up to 10 to 20 stacks of magma blocks. So really just find a couple of these, drink up some uh, potions, and you can break as many of these as you want, and they do not need silk touch to break. Alright, now that that's over with, we're going to collect all our supplies and go over to where we're going to build the farm. So I have already drilled above the nether in that last episode, and I've also made an ice tunnel there so we can get to and from super, super quickly. So I'll probably just go up here and grab ourselves a boat. I think I did throw one in one of these chests up here let's take a look if I did uh, probably just thrown in here uh, no I didn't that's fine so I'll just grab some more food to make sure to have that and uh, you may or may not want uh, fire resistance potions in fact you uh, certainly will need fire resistance potions because you're gonna be on top of magma so uh, you, you don't have to you can always shift but it is smart to bring a bunch of fire resistance potions with you as well so we'll do that and we'll just uh, go over here and go through the nether portal which I think is right over here and we'll make our way to the nether, which is uh, where we're going to be building our farm. So, uh, yeah, off we go to the nether. And yeah, I have made the ice tunnel before. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a boat with me right now, so we won't be using that. But uh, I can just fly along it. And you can see this. Now, there's one really, really important thing you're going to want to do. Is uh, you're going to want to make sure that where you drilled above the nether, or at least there's a way to get from where you drilled above the nether to a location that is a 
120 block diameter or a 60 block radius of nether wastes, which is this kind of like traditional standard nether biome. If you do it in any other biome or a mix of biomes, you'll either have no use to your farm or very minimal use to it because you want to make sure that the entire area can spawn yourself piglins, or not piglins, but uh, zombified piglins, because uh, pigli uh, zombified piglins do not spawn in any biome but the nether wastes, so it's really important to do that. Now you guys can see up here I've basically gone up here to this block and then we've gone up here and we broke this bedrock in the last episode. And here we are at the top. Now this uh, this area right here actually I centered at the middle of this area so we want to make sure we go about here which looks like it's negative 360, 137. So we're going to go up here and make sure about there. Doesn't matter too much but I want to make sure it's as close to original or as close to the center as it can be. Which is about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out all of our supplies and then we're going to build the first part of this. So I'll just get out all these shulker boxes and we're going to want to start by getting ourselves scaffolding and put one scaffolding here and then put scaffolding up 57 blocks. So I'm just going to take off a few from this. We want to go up 57 blocks. Uh, now there is a way to make this farm with less magma blocks but it's also a lot less efficient so we're just going to do this the main way. So we're going to make this go all the way up 57 blocks uh, up 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 here. And uh, also, once the farm is done, I'll show you guys how to make the storage system, or you can always make your own type of storage system. It's totally whatever you guys want. So, we'll just uh, grab ourselves all of this. We'll need the scaffolding, the dark oak, we'll need the... basically all this. There's no point really singling out certain things. And I'll also grab out, just while we're at it, some, uh, some glass, and then we can break all these and make our way up the scaffolding, or I might just fly up and see how good my elytra skills are. Uh, spoiler warning, they might be very bad. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, uh, yeah, they were bad. <laughs> let's see if I can get up one more time, and then I'll just go up the normal way. Um, let's see if I can twist in, twist in. No, that didn't work. Oh, I got pretty close, so here we are. Now, from here, what we want to do is we want to basically build one up, and then build around like this, and then actually just build on the side like that. So we basically are just having these go uh, along the sides. So then from this point, we want to just build over a bit like this. And this is basically going to be where all the zombie pigments land and are killed once they fall down from a big drop. So what we want to do right here is we're going to have a whole bunch of hoppers that are all going towards a central block. So they're all going to go into that block and then we're going to have this one go in here, this one go in here, this one go in here. So it's like a plus where they're all going towards the center. Then this one will go into here, this one will go into here, this one will go into here, and this one will go into here. And this basically makes it so they all go into the center one and that basically makes it that we have as little clogging as possible. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to get ourselves some glass and from the edge bit right here we're just going to put these blocks right on the edge here like this and then from this edge uh, we're going to get on uh, make these go up a bunch but before we do that we're just going to grab these carpets and place carpets on top of all these hoppers right here and then we're just going to make this go all the way along here and counting the block that I just put down we want this to go up to 23 blocks high and now there's a specific reason for this we want this to go up 23 blocks high uh, because at 22 blocks high uh, 22 blocks is the maximum height survivable by a mob. So what we're going to do is this is one block. So we'll go up 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And I'll just repeat that all around here. Now if I did count wrong, I'll just count again. But it's really important to make sure you're going up 23 blocks. So I'll be right back once I've placed all these down. Alright, I've now built up the glass to 23 blocks tall. Now what we want to do is we want to get ourselves some dirt and then place it there. Then place a permanent block right here that's going to be nether bricks. It can really be anything though. Then from that point on we want to go three up. So one, two, three. Then place nether bricks. Then one, two, three. Then place nether bricks. Then we've done that twice. Now we're going to do that a third time. Now a fourth time. Now a fifth time and now a sixth time. And now at this point what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make big platforms off of this but before we do that we're just going to go down here and make ourselves trapdoors on the sides. What this is going to do is basically going to be how the pigmen see the uh, turtle eggs and then run towards it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get ourselves some dirt and basically just put down trapdoors like 
all around like this. Doesn't really matter what their orientation is. So I'll just place trapdoors all along here uh, to the very top. Now when we're placing the last layer of trapdoors, what we want to do is we want to break the dirt blocks in between these uh, the nether bricks. And so yeah, when we go up here, we just want to, as we go up, we want to basically just break all these. And we basically just will just place the trapdoors on top of each other instead of on the side of the dirt block. And yeah, it's just really important to get rid of these because then the piglins can actually see the egg and there'll be a place for the egg to go. So I'll be right back once I've done that. Alright, we're at the top and we've almost finished. All we have to do now, I just forgot, is place down two dirt blocks. Then place down two trap doors up here. And it'll make sure that the top egg is also uh, safe from having the piglins get it. So we'll just place those there. And now this entire uh, column is uh, done. Right now you're going to want to go back down to your glass here and place up a scaffolding tower. Not that way, but you want to place it up here just to the top of this wooden tower too. And this is basically just going to be an easy way to get up and down. And what we're going to be doing is placing a turtle egg in every single place there. And then going up and placing a turtle egg. And this is again just going to basically be the bait for the pigmen. And this will make it so that once the pigmen spawn, they'll see the turtle egg, want to run towards it, and then fall down and get killed by the drop. So we're just going to place all these down. And yeah, this is just, of course, important for every layer. Well, it turns out I'm just really silly, and I actually built this a little bit too tall. I made too many spawn platforms for the pigmen. So I'll just break this down here and basically just make it so that it's the exact same as it would be. So this is just down like this, and this is just too tall here because there's not going to be any pigments on my farm spawning past this height right here. So yeah, now the next step is going to be building the big platforms where they spawn. Now this is obviously going to be the biggest step of the farm. And I suggest that uh, you get all your magma before you even try starting this step since you are going to need such a large amount. Um, also, you might want to break your scaffolding this way because then you don't lose any. You know, what you're going to want to do is uh, get to this point and basically build yourself a, a section. Also, if you are getting burnt like this, uh, you can either shift like I am right now, or you can drink a fire resistance potion, or you can wear frost walker boots. I would wear frost walker boots, but I don't actually have any. So, I'm just going to put these around like this. So, from here, you want to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and do that on every single side, and then basically make yourself a massive box of magma. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you want to just connect all these up and fill them up with magma blocks, and of course do that on all the other sides too. So you have six huge squares of magma on top of each other, and that's of course why we need such a huge amount of magma blocks. So yeah, you just want to fill this in, and uh, again, the easy way to fill this up is if you go like this, four over like that, you can just go like this and fill it up very, very quickly. So I'll do a time lapse of doing all this, and I'll be back once I've completed that step of the farm.
All right, here we are. We've finally, finally placed all these uh, magma blocks. That was definitely the hardest part of this farm. Now we only have one part left, and that is basically just getting the big part of glass on top of this. And what's really important about this is making sure ghasts don't spawn, because that can really ruin the farm. So what you want to do, start in the middle here, uh, placing them on the side of the trapdoors, and basically making long uh, fingers of glass, or however you want to say it, and basically put these all across the edge like this. So you basically have a plus shape like this. And then what you want to do once you've done that on all the three sides is you just want to go in three blocks like, or not in three blocks, uh, two blocks like this. Place a grass block right there, or not a dirt block there, or just any really temporary block. And then just go in another two and uh, go over like this. And this will basically just make it so that no ghasts can spawn. And you can just do the same thing again uh, until you've reached the entire edge. So I'll do a time lapse of that and you can see the pattern that way too. And again, as we're just about to finish this, you can see that it's uh, two blocks for each uh, kind of V shape of glass. So once you get to the edge, you can just go out two out with dirt like this and put your glass like this. And now we're actually done with this top bit. So this part of the farm is almost done. All we have left is a little bit, which is to make the AFK platform. So all we need for that is some scaffolding and some glass. Now, realistically, you're going to need elytra for this farm. Technically, you could do it without, but it's really not going to work very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically put a piece of dirt right here temporarily and then we're just going to put scaffolding up all the way and this will basically stop placing at a certain point because that'll be the point when we've reached, yeah there it is, 256. So we're going to go all the way up here and once we've reached 256 then we're just going to quickly build ourselves a small platform. Shouldn't be too much higher, I know here we are. And of course since we can't place on top of here we'll break the first scaffolding and just make maybe a 5x5 five five platform. I suppose you could make a smaller platform but uh, in fact, you might want a bit of a bigger one because you'll have to land on this one with Elytra. So it's definitely important to uh, get on this as easily as possible. So yeah, about a 7x7 seven seven block. So there we go. That works pretty well. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, the spawn platform. Of course, is at 256. Uh, I guess it could be lower, but I don't know why it would be. Uh, it has to be, of course, at least 20 blocks away from the bottom platform. Uh, now that we've done that, what we're going to do is get these fireworks and just kind of go down here. And then just uh, break off this, so just break this block here. We can pick up most of the scaffolding, but it doesn't really matter if we pick up all of it. And now the farm is uh, kind of done, not really. So there's still the part of the farm that we haven't done yet, which is the sorting system. So I'm going to do that now, but yeah, this is the first part of the farm done. So we're going to go on to the sorting system now. So what we're going to want to do is now that we're here at the bottom of the farm, this is one block below the hopper, so we want to go eight blocks below them approximately. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at this point we're just going to place a block off the platform, which may be a little bit difficult. We can go like that and then basically try and get back on here. Now it might be a bit low, but it really doesn't matter. This is just basically a lower platform so we can access parts of this farm. That should be about good right here. So we'll just kind of build a bit of a platform here. It doesn't really matter. This isn't specific at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to break a hole in the middle of that. And you can see that's where the hoppers come out. And we're just going to get all our supplies for this part. So all that we'll just put away what we don't need, I guess, and put away all this. Uh, I guess we'll need the glass. Uh, that's important. But we don't need anything else really here. Uh, what we're going to need right here is we're going to need ourselves uh, all these supplies here. These are the things we need for this. So the dropper, the lava bucket, chests, hoppers nether bricks and all these things here as well. So we'll just grab those and break these right here. We're going to want to start with the hoppers and again there'll be a lot of scaffolding building around in here. So I'll be building a lot of stuff with dirt and then breaking it down uh, later. So I'll just build up here like this. And you can see here there is our hopper. So we're going to go down one like this. Once that we've gone down one like that, we'll probably just go down one more. We're going to go over. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some dirt, go over like this. It's going to go over six blocks. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then just break. Actually, no, we're going to go over six like this. And then we're just going to break all these but the last one. This will be just something to place our hoppers onto. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three, uh, three, four, five, and then this is the sixth. And we'll break this. There is going to be a lot of stuff that's going to fall out, but that's fine. 
six like that and you can see that's all gone down like that so there's gonna be a lot of stuff piling up in here but again it doesn't really matter because at this point the amount of uh, material from this farm that's been generated is pretty minimal so here we are this should be six blocks I think yeah there it is so from this point that we're gonna go down so we're gonna go down like that uh, it doesn't matter if this points down or over then we're gonna go down like that and that goes down three blocks like that all right we're now want to get a bit lower go down here and build out here with some dirt just so we can get to a bit of a lower uh, point from here so once we're to here we want to go to our dropper, our glass, our redstone dust, our redstone repeaters, and a redstone torch. And this is going to basically be, well, as well as the lava bucket, and this is basically going to be the area where we dispose of anything we don't want from this farm. So technically you don't need to build this if you like literally want tons of rotten flesh and swords, but you get a lot of it, so I would definitely suggest building this part. Uh, what we're going to want to do here is basically build the area where the lava goes. So the dispenser would be here, and then the lava uh, would come out here and basically just be in this capsule here. So we're just going to uh, take this and see if we can uh, place it there. I did place it a bit wrong, which is fine. We'll place it like this. We want to make sure it faces forward. I won't put in the lava quite yet, because what we're going to do now is uh, go over here and just build a small little circuit that'll just always be uh, going on and off. And that'll basically just be there to make this constantly be firing on and off to make this always be dispensing what's inside of it into the lava. So what we're gonna do is place and break a torch really quick like this. Uh, it can take a couple times to get right, but you can see it's doing that correctly. Now, of course, again, this is gonna waste a lot of gold, uh, but it doesn't really matter because this farm is so quick. So we'll put the lava in there in a second, but this little thing here is done. This is where the trash goes. That we're going to do now is work on the part where we sort through the stuff that we do want to be saved and stored, right? Because obviously we want everything to be destroyed, so we're going to work on that. All right, so what we're going to want to do is, you see these three hoppers here, what we're going to want to do is go over like this and then basically build up like this and place a row of blocks, uh, a row of blocks like this. So we're going to go down one and then place a row of blocks here. So there's three blocks like that and then break down again then go one and over again and place a row of blocks like this and what this is basically going to do is this is going to be what we're placing our hoppers on so we're going to place down three hoppers into there and this is going to be what sorts away all the items we do want and then we're going to sort it all like that so it'll basically make it so that this is a sorting system to make the items that we do want stay and the items we don't want be destroyed in the lava so now that we're at this point you can see that all this is going to collect into one hopper so we'll break this block here and place a hopper there and we'll break this block here and place a hopper there and then we'll go over out a little bit more like this and we'll place one block there and we'll place a hopper going into here now from this point we'll have all our storage just drop down here but this part is done so now what we're going to do is go over here and actually make the sorting mechanisms to turn this from just a bunch of blocks being here to actually being able to sort our items. So we're going to place netherrack or really any brick. Uh, I have nether bricks here actually, not netherrack. And we're just going to place them like that and then go down one. And what we're basically doing is we'll go here and we'll basically make, uh, put them along here. This will be part of the redstone mechanism. We'll put some redstone along like this and we will end up actually having to break this, but that's fine because we don't need that there put that there and then we're going to just build out uh, put blocks here and then we're going to build out and put something there and there and this is going to be a really cool little redstone mechanism that's going to sort the items so what we're going to be doing is kind of looking at what's in these hoppers with these comparators here so you just kind of may want to shift while you're placing them you can see these actually have things in them and you want to also uh, yeah don't invert these just keep them as they are and then just put redstone dust all along here like this and put redstone peters and put them facing towards this block in the tunnel and you may end up needing to break a block and replacing it to do that so you might want to break this oh and we fell down but uh, we have elytra uh, hopefully if you guys make that mistake you will have elytra too but uh, you yeah, know it's really important to make sure you have elytra uh, when you're doing this because it can be uh, extremely deadly otherwise and anyway, we're going to grab these and um, we'll just use glass as a temporary building block because even though that's all we have it doesn't really matter so we can place some glass down in here like this so they're all facing forward and then place a block back i guess it can be glass but i'll just grab the block that dropped like this also you may notice there's that uh, magma cube there basically what that means is that a magma cube fell off from the farm but hasn't despawned and now when we're actually in the farm that we won't have this problem because they'll be 120 blocks away from us when we're afk so we're actually not going to have the issue of them not despawning so we'll go over here and we're going to continue on with this so once we've done those there we're going to go like that and put a redstone back 
we have one more bit of this little circuit, which is just to put some redstone torches in. So we're going to put redstone torches underneath there like that. And that's just going to stop these. So what we're going to do is in these blocks right here where we're looking. Uh, we're going to get rid of everything that's in here. What we're basically going to do is get ourselves glass and put five blocks of glass here, five blocks of glass here. Uh, not 13, but five blocks there, five blocks there. So we want to make sure that there's five in all of those. Uh, it doesn't have to actually be glass, it can just be any item that you know is not going to run through the farm. Now we're going to get rid of all this and make it down to 3 neat. That's just keeping filtering through. Now what we're going to do here is you can just see this is totally filled up. And you can do this while it's running, while it's not, it doesn't really matter. So then we're going to have the middle one do the same exact thing. We're also going to want to get rid of this dirt block here. Alright, so now we have one hopper that's sorting out nuggets, and we're actually going to have a second hopper that's sorting out nuggets. Uh, the reason being that basically we'll run into a situation where there could be so many things going through the farm that we might have an issue where there are hop uh, nuggets that are actually being destroyed. This farm should actually be completely done, except for all we have to do now is just quickly place the lava into the uh, destruction chamber here. So we'll just take a look at where the that is. I think I kept my lava in... Let's see where I kept it. Oh, here it is. Place the lava there. And just place some glass or some other block on top. I guess I could place magma on top. It actually really doesn't matter at all. In fact, it actually does matter. <laughs> it should be glass, and it needs to be glass, because um, if you just place magma there like I did, uh, you'll actually have an issue where you basically have a uh, chance of pigmen spawning there, which can really mess up your rates, because even one pigmen will lower your mob cap. So it's actually really important not to put magma there. And also get rid of all this... Uh, these blocks here that you don't need because yeah any block that is not transparent or covered in carpet will spawn mobs and those ones will cause you major major issues so now that we've done that we're just going to get rid of all the stuff here because again this is all done except for right here and we'll just build this in a second so you should just be able to get rid of all the dirt here and stuff like this like this magma block uh, thankfully mobs aren't going to be able to spawn on top of that redstone there so that's going to be fine but it's important to get every last little bit of dirt uh, even out here like this so yeah, it's just important to make sure the farm is completely uh, cleaned up down here. And the rates of this farm are quite good. They're uh, something like 100 gold blocks per hour. It definitely varies, but it's quite a good farm overall. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find out the block we fall down from at the end of the storage system, which is right here. You can see it's probably all filled up. Uh, it's not going to be filled up with the right items right now because it's just been running. But once it's done, then it will be. So we'll just clear it out and then it'll be done. So, all right, so now what I'm doing is I'm marking out where my scaffolding is going to go. So I see here that the double chests will be going here down. And the scaffolding to get up and down is going to be right here. So I've marked that down in the chat. And I'll just get rid of these marker blocks. And I'm going to go to uh, Y150 at those exact coordinates that I marked down. And the reason why it's important to do coordinates like this is it just kind of saves middle steps of having to redo things a lot. So we'll just go to our chat and we can see negative 363143. So we'll just mark that up down here like this. And let's see where that is. Uh, that would be 363 is here. 143. Actually, that's exactly where it is, like this. And we'll just make these go up all the way. Uh, they may end up hitting the farm, but that should be fine. So, Oh, something interesting I was finding out when I was placing all those blocks is that when you look at the magma blocks, that actually isn't uh, hot cobblestone. I always thought it was. No, it's actually hot netherrack, because if you look at the color of that, it is actually kind of the exact same color as netherrack. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, it looks like this has gone up the right way. Let's take a look and uh, make sure that is the case. So it's gone up right like this. And if we look, that looks like, yes, that is the right area. So that's perfect, because that means we can put in all our chests, and then we'll be done with this thing. So I'll quickly time-lapse myself putting all those chests in. Alright, and there we go, our farm is done, which is awesome, because yeah, this has definitely been a big process, but the farm is done, the farm, the items are going through, they're being sorted out. Something I did do is I made sure to clear these hoppers of any items we don't want, like rotten flesh. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it'll just be in your storage for the first round, and you can tell this is working, because in this little hopper here, there's an item stuck there, which is what you want, so... Yeah, there we go, and you can basically see the items will go in here, sort through, and then anything we don't want, like rotten flesh and gold swords, will be burnt up in the lava there at the fastest speed possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play video. If you did, make sure to press the like button, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this, and make sure to check out some of my other uh, Minecraft Farms videos. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!